Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today's going to be a little different video. I'm going to do a 2018 wish list video. So if that doesn't interest you, you can click on out. If that does, please stick around and we're going to get uh, right into this. So I will have pictures of uh, these bags either after I have uh, named the bag or uh, at the very end of the video. Uh, but anyway, so... Um, I swear Instagram gets me in trouble. So do the YouTube videos. I try to stay off. I'm trying to be so good this year. But I, like I said in a previous video, I've been trying to kind of venture out into the different um, fashion houses. And I have just been obsessed with, you know, certain ones that I've seen. It just seems like these bags will fit for my lifestyle. So with that said, um, and I feel like I posted these somewhere, some of these. But the first one is the Louis Vuitton Capucines BB. Oh my goodness. If you do follow me on Instagram, you will see that I tried on, I want to say it was the small size um, Capucines in the black with a python handle. Um, oh my god, it was so beautiful. It, I mean, I loved the look of that one. I loved the size. I really do feel like the size uh, fit my frame really well. And I do want to say that was a small. So it's either going to be between the BB and the small. Now, will I get these bags? any of these or any of these items who knows um, but these are are definitely at the top of my wish list so that would be the first one and i know i definitely want black um the second and i've been obsessed with this for i don't even know how long but it is the the neo vivian um and it's in the black i think there's like three different colors i think one's like the blue or navy blue one is that like uh, military green and then the black and I, I, there's something about it. I tried it on when I was at the Charlotte store and it, that's on my Instagram as well. Um, the Charlotte location, the LV at Charlotte, um, I, it's been a minute since Christmas, during Christmas. Um, and I love it. Like it fits everything. It's super small. It's beautiful. It is, I, just, I love it. You can transition it from day to night. If it's a lot more than the uh, Chanel mini square, which is what I have. If you guys are interested in that bag, please let me know. I'm thinking about replacing that bag with the Neo Vivian, um, but I do have the Chanel Mini and the So Black, and it's the square. So if you're interested, yeah, let me know. Um, but that, I just, there's something about that bag. You know how it is, guys. You just see a bag, you, and I was able to, you know, try it on. I was able to put my things in there, and I, oh, I just loved it. I loved it. So that's, that's really high on the list as well. Um, this one I've been obsessed with too. I've seen it everywhere. And at first, you know, it took me a minute, uh, you know, kind of like, kind of like the Pochette Matisse, but it is the Chanel reissue. And I want this size, I think it's 226, but I do want black with gold hardware on this. Um, I just, I love it. And I think the 226 is in between the medium and the jumbo size, which I really, really like because I don't have anything that size. Um, and I'm not opposed to going pre-loved for this, but it's got to be in, in pretty good shape with all of the, you know, the full set. But I just, I've been so obsessed with that. Leo Lyon, um, I think she posted on Instagram, she, she had the so black. So it would either be for me the gold with the, um, the black with the gold hardware or the so black. I think the so black and I've always wanted either the jumbo or even this in the so black because um, I adore the so black collection. But that is, I'm just, I'm totally obsessing over that bag. So the next item, and I'm going down how I have it written. So um, the next would be uh, the Manolo Blahniks. I tried the denim Manolo Blahniks. I think they were the 75 mil. I don't want the 100. That's I'm just over the 100 right now. It's too high. It's, it's not practical for me these days. But holy crap, they were so comfortable, you guys. Man. I, they were true to size. So I typically wear anywhere from a six and a half to a seven. I got these in a seven and they fit perfectly. Um, they were super, super comfortable. They looked amazing. It's hard for me to justify the price tag on shoes just because now if it was in the four to 600 price range, I get it, but these are like 995 and I just think, Oh my God, I'm so hard on shoes and I walk super, super hard. So it's like how, 
how new are they going to be for how like how long are they are they going to stay and I, like i don't want to baby these things i don't like to baby my things because you spend this money so you want to use them but i'm obsessing over those denim especially i do love the black as well so i ideally ideally in a perfect world if i had all the money in the world and i could just spend you just like frivolously i'd have the black and i'd have the blue denim definitely um so that's another item on my wish list and i don't even know what they're called because i'm not really big into hermes i have an hermes bastia um you know for me right now in my life i feel like the birkin or the kelly is gorgeous and honey if you're going to give me a birkin i'll take it right but as far as that price tag right now i just can't even justify you know a bag for that price i get the craftsmanship i get i get all of that they're gorgeous and when i see them i, I lust after them i i'm just i love handbags i love luxury items there's just a sense of confidence and a sense of just I, they make me happy so i i get it but like i said if i had all the money in the world and money was not an object oh i'd have a birkin i'd have a kelly um but those are the, probably the only two i don't like you know see getting into all the the wallets and all of that i just i love lv pieces i love chanel pieces but those two bags definitely but i totally got off subject what i was going to say was the only thing i'm really really lusting right now from hermes is um those brown they're like the the h sandals do you know what i'm talking about like they're and i'll i'll put a picture but i love them i've seen them so much on youtube and on instagram <coughs> excuse me but i love those i think the brown would pretty much go with everything they're great for the summer um i love those so they're just a flat sandal with that h in the front um and i'll post a picture but totally lusting after those and i do want that like caramel color uh brown so this one i just kind of you know i've seen the big um ysl is it the what yes the ysl um sac de jour the the larger ones and i'm like i just i don't want to like i it's it's a great bag but <coughs> like it seems so heavy and so big and i'm so over big bags right now i'm totally into the mini and the small bags these days i love the way they look i love what they can hold i love that they're not so heavy like i seriously have such back issues for my never full so i've stopped carrying that i'll carry it but put it in my trunk and just carry a smaller bag in with me because it's they're just these bags are tearing up my uh my back but I saw the uh, the mini. It was a mini sac de jour, um, and oh, you guys, it was so cute. It wasn't that nano. That's ridiculous to me. That's that's a wallet. It, it was teeny, but it was so cute. And I was thinking probably black in that coat in, in that bag, um, but or or the cream. The cream was beautiful. But if I could get my hands on that you know if i had all the money in the world i'd have everything on this wish list yesterday but i'm totally lusting over that as well um so yeah and i think i think the one that i wanted was, was like crocodile or something like it, it was oh it was so it was so beautiful but anyway there's another one that's on my wish list this next one i've wanted for so long and i don't know why i haven't pulled the trigger i don't know if it's because it's the brand and i feel like i can get a chanel or a louis for this and as far as resale i can get more for those two fashion houses but it is the lady dior oh, that is such a beautiful beautiful bag I don't know if I want the small, the medium. I'm not sure yet. I really want to go in to a store and just try each out. And I'm so bummed I didn't get to do that when I was in Vegas. But I'm totally lusting over um, the Lady Dior. It's so beautiful. Um, Color-wise, I'm not really sure. I'm really open to color when it comes to this bag because it's so beautiful. And I feel like the lighter ones, like the pinks, the blushes, those types really, really speak to me. Um but i mean all the colors they're amazing yeah, they're just they're beautiful so i'd really that that'd be one bag where i just would want to go in and try you know the size on or try the color on because stunning um so that's totally lusting after that um this one i just saw recently and i had seen this in the past but i was just like eh, i don't get it um but the more and more i see it and i saw and i can't remember who it was but 
they had like the mini um, version of this and it was the Balenciaga city bag. And I thought it was so cute and you can wear it crossbody. I'd probably maybe go mini or maybe the size up because I think the size up looks so, so cute. But then I'm thinking, is it going to get heavy? How heavy is it going to get? Um, and for the same reason I just expressed earlier, I just, I don't want that. So it would probably be the mini. And I am open to colors with this one too because I think, but I keep going back to black. I love black bags. And I truly can't, I, I don't think I have a black bag in my collection that I, yeah, I have to, I feel like there's a hole in my collection with a black bag. I've got my Chanel mini square, but I can't do much with it. I have my Chanel jumbo, but it, to me, it's not an everyday bag. You certainly want to preserve the condition of that bag. I just want something I can throw around, something that's, I have my Epi Speedy, but I'm totally, I, I'm not falling out of love with Speedy, but I, I, I use my canvas Speedy so much. I want something different if that makes sense. So um, this, the, the Balenciaga um, city bag, it looks like it could be great for every day. You could, you know, just throw it over your, you know, shoulder or crossbody and it fits what you need. And um, it's a lot more casual. So I'd have to be mindful of that. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm digging that bag lately. Um, and then we've got this, this wasn't even on my radar, but I've been seeing it everywhere. And it's the um, Celine mini luggage, tote or bag or whatever it is. Holy crap, this thing is so cute. I know that I've seen other videos where even the small, you guys, it looks huge and it looks super heavy and I've heard it is heavy. And I think I saw Minx for all say that don't, don't kid yourself. Like this is a heavy bag. Like she was, she, she wasn't even gonna, you know, front on that. It's, it's a heavy bag. So I heard that the mini, um, was a lot more um, doable as far as weight and that kind of thing. I think she said it was like three pounds on its own, which is crazy. But in that particular bag, black, you know, that would be another option for that black bag that's missing in my collection, like that hole in my collection. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for my wish list. Now, am I going to get these items? I have no idea. Would I like a couple of them? Absolutely. And I'm sure I could throw in, you know, throw in some SLGs, but I, I'm really, my collection is really, really good right now. And I am trying to get rid of some, some bags to kind of, you know, fund or facilitate the purchase of some other bags. Cause I certainly, I've said this before, I don't like for handbags to sit in my collection. I want to use them. And I also, you guys, if you're interested, I also have my, I never used it. And this is one where I got, I just, Instagram made me do it. I was watching, I think it was Leo Lion LV and uh, I can't remember the other YouTuber, but it was that um, the black Epi Alma with the hot pink accents. It was a limited edition. I have not used it one time, guys. It is sitting in the box. Beautiful. I mean, it's such a beautiful bag. First of all, I wasn't a big fan of the Alma. But I kind of, I felt like I needed every kind of the classic bag from Louis Vuitton in my collection. But I'm not using it. And the classic to me would have been the monogram or something like that. So if you guys are interested, you know, in that one, please let me know. So I've got the Alma BB and the Epi Noir with that hot pink accent. And then what did I say earlier? The Chanel Mini um, Square and the So Black. Um, if you guys are interested in that, you know, please DM me, DM me. I always get that. I always mess that up. Or you can reach uh, out to me on my uh, email address and I'll put all that information um, in the description bar below. Um, but I think that's it for my 2018 wish list. This was really fun. Um, I've seen a lot of these going around, um, but I wanted to get mine in there. Um, but yes, I will be back with, um, I have a tag video to do, the forever pieces in my collection tag video. I haven't forgotten about that. The beautiful Lux Purse Love tagged me on that. Um, hey babe. Uh, so yeah, I've got to do that still and I'm trying to get that in this week, which I probably will here. Um, but I wanted to shout out to Mel in Melbourne. I saw this on her channel and you guys, I get so many compliments on this t-shirt. It is such a comfortable t-shirt. I love it. So Mel, I know you're probably not watching it, babe, but I love it. And I totally, you know, stole this off of your, uh, one of your haul videos, but I absolutely love it. Um, and that's going to do it. You guys, um, you know, if you like the content of this channel, if you want to share the video, please go ahead and do that. If you want to click that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell button so you'll be notified of future videos, that'd be awesome. I'd appreciate it. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, 
uh, put that all down below and uh, I will see you guys very very soon take care guys have a great day bye Thank you.